Hey guys, it's Leah and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys like a rundown of some of my favorite Easter eggs in the Solo A Star Wars Story movie. Of course my review is up from Friday. Um, if you guys have not seen it, I'll leave links to it. Um, but I'm just going to get started. We all know that Solo did terribly in box office for opening weekend, but I called it. <laughs> like, I think that they were hoping that because everybody had a long weekend coming up that more people would be seeing it um, and that they could trick people into seeing a movie that they didn't really ask for or weren't too excited for. I'm not going to talk any more about that aspect. You guys can watch my movie review of it if you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to start off of all of the extremely nostalgic Easter eggs that filled Solo. Starting off with the most obvious is Han's Lucky Dice. They really used that to its end, but it was kind of cute to see. Um, I think originally there was a story that he, you know, won it in Sabacc playing cards, but it actually shows in Solo that he had it way before that. Um, so that was the most obvious Easter egg, and it also shows us the origins of Chewy, um, which is a pretty obvious one and how it was like shortened and apparently it's a nickname that stuck. Another Easter egg that I really liked was when they showed in the beginning of the film some of the Empire propaganda videos. They were using the Imperial March, uh, which was actually kind of funny and I really enjoyed seeing the military propaganda for the Empire. Um, I don't even want to talk about how Han got his last name because if you guys watch my review it really ruined it for me. Um, another great one was the mention of Bosk when they were talking about bounty hunters and Bosk has made so many appearances it's so funny they keep putting him in there. And one that I actually really really enjoyed is when um, Han met Lando and Lando mispronounced his name as Han and if you guys know obviously in the originals uh, Lando says Han and I think that it's kind of funny that they decided to put that in there and even though Han corrects him he just decides to continue to say it wrong for an eternity um, which is kind of funny and of course they had Chewie playing chess and him getting angry which was actually really cute. Another obvious point is Han's blaster and how he got that. Um, but one that I I really, really liked is the appearance of Warwick Davis. Um, I wasn't expecting to see him where I did. I really don't want to spoil I mean, if you're watching this, I'll assume that you already saw Solo, or maybe you're just curious and you don't actually want to see it in theaters. But Warwick Davis is in this film, which is really great that he's, um, you know, they cast him in this. Another Easter egg that I enjoyed was the mention of a gangster on Tatooine, which obviously... Um, everybody knows is Jabba, so I really liked how Han was like, yeah, I think I heard of a, a gangster, uh, that I'm from to to Tobias that I'm gonna go check out on Tatooine, so I liked that little, um, lineup to how we're gonna see, you know, Han obviously work for him. Another thing is when the droid L3 became part of the Millennium Falcon. That was kind of a cute uh, reference to an Empire when a 3PO says something to the matter of like, where did this droid learn how to communicate the way that I can? I liked that, how they kind of stuck that one in there. That's a less obvious one. And then of course, the Kessel Run. We all knew, like, I would have been extremely angry if I went through this whole movie without the Castle Run. So that was in there as well. Um, and that was, I mean, almost every single Easter egg was strictly nostalgia-based. There wasn't anything... Oh, okay, so this one is actually a spoiler. So if you're just watching this because you're curious, but you don't actually want a full-blown spoiler, at the end we see... Well, here it comes. At the end we see Darth Maul, which is extremely weird. So... Is that where, I mean, is Kira going to go full dark side maybe? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of my Easter egg video. Those were just all of like really obvious ones. There are a few in there that I mentioned that were a little more subtle that I really enjoyed. And I remember sitting there in the theater like making mental notes like, oh, that was nostalgic, like etc. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see my review of Solo, I didn't trash it, but... 
It obviously wasn't what anybody really wanted, if there even was to be a solo film. But I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to leave comments down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys. See you next time.